Welcome to Operations of Sets. This is a video to help students better understand operations of sets. Exercises will be presented which you can answer yourself or pwede rin namang panoorin mo kung paano sagutan so you can learn. But before we continue, it is assumed that medyo na-introduce na sa inyo ang sets. Kung nakalimutan nyo na, you might want to recall basic concepts. Don't worry though, we'll still try to explain some previous topics naman as we go along so ox lang. But if you are confident enough to skip to other parts of this video, you can click the links in the description below. From our elementary years, we have four basic operations. Plus, minus, multiplication, and division. As you should know by now, there are also four basic operations in sets. They are union, intersection, complement, and set difference. Let's recall each one of them. Let's start by discussing the first operation, it's the union of sets. Now if you noticed, I replaced letter U with the union symbol. O oh, diba mas madaling tandaan? Now, ano bang ibig sabihin ng union? Let's recall that when you're given A union B or the union of two sets A and B, ang ibig sabihin nun, it's the set of X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. Kailangan element ng A. Ibig sabihin, nasa A. Or, o kaya, yun ang ibig sabihin, nasa B. So, satisfy mo, nasa A o nasa B. That's what you mean by union. And ang clue from our previous topics, pag sinabing union, you simply combine the elements. Next set operation, intersection. As you can see, Pinalitan ko na naman yung letter N with this intersection symbol. Again, hopefully, mas madali yung tandaan. Definition, when you're given the intersection of A and B, or pwede ring A intersection of B, what does that mean? It means set of X such that X is an element of A and X is an element of B. Meaning, you have to satisfy dalawang condition. Bukod yung element mo nasa A, Dapat nasa B din. Take note of their difference. We use the word or here. We use the word and here. Pag sinabing or, isa lang ang masatisfy. Pwede na. Pag sinabing and, kailangan both nasa A and nasa B. Kaya, another way of uh, memorizing kung anong ibig sabihin ng intersection is, isulat mo lang yung common. Kasi yon ang common elements yung nasa A na, Nasa B pa. Now, third set operation, the complement. Take note, pag sinabing complement, again, meron tayong dalawang condition. Dapat nasa universal set. And yung pangalawang condition, wala sa A, not element. That's what it means. So, dapat nasa universal, pero wala sa A. Or, a faster way para mas madaling tandaan, basta nasa labas ng set mo. Yun yung complement niya. Last one, it's called the difference. Siyempre, siningit ko yon Para lang mas madali ding tandaan, we should know that meron talagang e dyan. Okay? So, what do we mean by difference? A minus B. Ibig sabihin nun, set of X such that X is an element of A. Meaning, part ng A, pero dapat hindi part ng B. Now, para mas madali nating ma-analyze, pag sinabing element, part of the set or inside, yan ang ibig sabihin yan. Pag sinabing not an element, it's outside. So, balikan natin ito. Ibig sabihin, dapat inside ni A, pero dapat Outside ni B. Now, it doesn't make sense much ngayon, pero mamaya, if we try to answer, kayang-kaya nating masundan ito. We're now ready for some examples. Okay, let's say we're given these four sets. We have set A, set B, set C, and of course, the universal set. We will be using these four sets as we answer our examples today. Now, Anong gagawin natin? For example, we're asked, number one, what is A union B? Now, to get this one, it's best ang gagawin mo is not to do that mentally. Carefully, you replace A and B 
with the elements nila. So, replacing set A, elements are, from basing from the top, we have 1, 2. A, done. Next, copy union. Next, replace B with its elements. Ano ba yung elements ni B? We have 2, 3, and 4. Now, recall, pag sinabing union, ano na ang ibig sabihin? You combine. So, combining 1, 2, and 2, 3, 4, Take note, it's best kung arrange mo in increasing order para hindi ka malito. So doing that, we have 1, then 2, let's combine, tapos ka na dito. Isama mo yun, 3, and 4. Therefore, this now is the union of A and B. Ganun lang kadali, you combine. Next, how about the intersection of B and C? Or B intersection with C? Just like what we did previously, let's carefully write first the elements of our sets. Let's replace B with its elements. So doing that, ano yung B natin? We have 2, 3, and 4. B done. Copy, intersection, be careful dito, dito maraming carelessness. C, replace it with its elements. We have 4 and 5. Okay. Recall, anong ibig sabihin ng intersection? Intersection means common. So, meron pang common elements itong set na ito and this one. By observation, may common elements sila, which is 4. So, we write 4. That's it. That's B, intersection with C. Again, union, we combine. And then, intersection write yung common elements. That's what we mean. Okay. Next, we read this as A prime or pwede rin complement of A. In some books, you don't see ganyan. You might see ganito instead. A tapos may C. So, they mean the same. But in our case, we will use this prime symbol or this apostrophe. How do we get A prime? Recall pag sinabing A prime, ano na nga ibig sabihin yan? It's outside A. Now, some students are very careful. What they do is write muna the elements of A. Well, you can do that. Sige nga, let's write first the elements of A. 1, 2. And then, don't forget, my prime doon. Again, pag sinabing prime, ano ang ibig sabihin ng prime? Outside. Ano ba ang nasa labas ng 1, 2? Meaning, wala sa 1, 2. Pero take note, Dapat nasa universal set pa rin. So, let's write all those elements. 1, 2, nandi dito, nasa labas niya is 3, 4, 5, and 6. Therefore, this now is A prime or the complement of A or outside A. Next, what if we're asked to get B minus A? Now, what you want to do, again, is carefully write the elements of each set. Replace B with its elements. Doing that, ang B natin are 2, 3, 4. Then copy, minus. Next, replace A with its elements. We have 1, 2. Okay, now, how do we do this? Maalala ninyo, pag sinabi nating B minus A, ibig sabihin, all elements na nasa B, inside ni B, pero outside ni A. Well, you can analyze that. Or, another way of doing it is, using this first set as our basis, tatanggalin natin kung meron dito. Meaning, itong B, babawasan natin ng nasa A. What do you mean, sir? Let's try and check each element. Yung 2, nandi dito, pero nando dun ba yun? Naku, meron. Ima minus natin or we simply cancel. Next 3, yung 3 nandi dito inside B, nando dun ba? Wala. Therefore, 3 stays there. Walang may babawas. Next 4, 4 nandi dito, nando dun din ba? Wala din. So hindi may babawas, it stays there. So in the end, we only consider kung ano yung natira. Therefore, the elements of B minus A are 3 and 4. So we practically subtract whatever is in here. In this case, these are the only elements left, 3 and 4. Okay, number 5. 
In number five, we now have three sets. Take note, we have A, B, and C. Now, what do we do first? Notice we have a grouping symbol here. Now, remember from elementary, we have PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule. Pareho lang naman yon. P stands for parenthesis. According to this rule, uunahin natin yung nasa parenthesis. Or kung GEMDAS ito, G, this should be G, stands for grouping. Unahin mo yung grouping symbol. So in this case, uunahin daw natin yung nasa loob ng grouping symbol, yun yun. Now, let's try and write first the elements. Don't forget, copy carefully. So I'm copying our open parenthesis. And then, write the elements of A just like what we did previously carefully. We now have one, two. A done. Then copy the union. Next, B carefully. We have two, three, four. So in yung B. And then don't forget, meron tayong close parenthesis. And then we're not yet done. We should get the intersection with C. Now, you can immediately write the elements of C as early as now. Pero since uunahin naman natin ito, wala pa tayong paggagamitan nun, I would rather write C muna. We can do that later nga lang yung pagsusulat ng elements. So, let, it, let us try to solve first or get the union of this. Ano na ang ibig sabihin pag union? You combine. So, combining 1, 2, and 2, 3, 4, actually, ito din yun, tama? So, let me copy na lang, pagsamahin, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, this part, done. Next step, get the intersection with C. It's now time to write the elements of C, which are 4 and 5. Now, be careful. What do you mean by intersection again? Intersection means, ito yun, common. So, are there common elements ng 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4, 5? Meron. Ano yun? It's 4. Therefore, the union of A and B, that group, intersection with C, is 4. Let us have some more examples. We're still using our four sets, A, B, and C, with the universal set here. So, on to question number six. Uy, mas complicated na to. But don't worry, we'll do it step by step. Kayang-kaya natin ito. So, what we do, like previous examples, let's carefully write the elements of these sets. So, copy our open parenthesis, and then write the elements of A. So, we have one, two. A, done. Then, carefully, minus. Then, write the elements of B, which are 2, 3, 4. Done ng B. But don't forget, meron pa tayo dyang complement. So, ang gagawin natin according to the PEMDAS rule is get first the difference of this. After that, saka lang natin kukunin yung complement. Now, ano na nga ibig sabihin ng minus? What you want to do is get yung elements ng A na wala sa B. Or simply, Ima minus natin ko anong nandi dito from this one. Check natin each element ni A. Check natin yung first. 1. May 1 ba doon? Wala. So, hindi natanggal yun. Next. 2. May 2 ba doon? Naku, meron. Therefore, nabawasan yan. Now, anong natira? We only have the element 1. Now, as you can see, meron pa tayong kailangang isolve the prime or its complement. What do you mean by complement again? Outside 1. Meaning, nasa labas ni 1, pero dapat nasa universal set pa rin. Let's write those elements. 1 is not included. So, ano lang nasa labas? 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, we get now A minus B, that group, complement of that. Next, let's try number 7. Again, carefully write the elements. Ganun lang kadali yun. What is A? We have 1, 2. Next, union with this group. Don't forget, we have this group. Therefore, solve that first. According to the PEMDAS rule, write the elements of B. We have 2, 3, 4. Then, intersection. Kinopya ko lang. And again, carefully write the elements of C, which are 4 
and 5. Don't forget, and with the parenthesis, I just copied that. And according to the PEMDAS rule, as we said, unahin natin yan. Anong gagay mo muna sa 1, 2? Tsaga, tsaga lang. Copy muna. That can wait. Copy you. It's also a good habit na itapat-tapat mo para wala kang mamiss. Next, what do you mean by intersection again? Common. May common ba na elements si 2, 3, 4, and 4, 5? Yes, meron. We have 4. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So, intersection, this group, done. Yan ang common. What's the next thing we should do? Finally, we can get the union. Union means you combine. Combining, we now have 1, 2, and of course, pagsamahin natin with 4. That's it. That's the answer for number 7. It's the union of this group and A. Last, nako, it's getting more complicated. Ang dami na ditong operations. May minus ka na, may prime ka pa, may union ka pa. But don't worry, as long as you do it carefully, you'll get the answer. So copy our parenthesis, union, and then replace B. Anong element si B? We have 2, 3, and 4. Next, minus. Again, some of you can do this kaagad. Meaning, yung outside A, ililista kaagad. Pwede rin, kung hindi ka nagmamadali, you can write first yung A. We have 1, 2. Don't forget, kukunin pa natin yung prime niya. And then, close parenthesis. I'm just copying this. And maybe, copy mo muna yung ganyan. Total, we don't need C yet. Okay, next step. According to the PEMDAS rule, anong unahin? Minus or sort of exponent? So, syempre, dun muna tayo. So, let's get the complement of 1, 2 first. What do you do with the others? Simply copy. Huwag kang magmamadali. So, doing that, we have 2, 3, 4, minus. Nako, ito medyo mahaba. Ano ba yung outside ni A? Outside ng 1, 2. We have 3, 4, 5, 6. Complement done. But still, we don't need C yet. Let's just copy that for the meantime. Okay, finally, we can subtract. Get the difference. Anong gagawin natin? Dapat nandi dito, wala dito. So we will remove whatever is in here galing dun. So check natin yung B. Do we have 2 there? Wala. So 2 stays there. Do we have 3 there? Naku, subtract natin. Meron kasing 3 dun. Next 4, meron ba? Meron din. Tanggalin natin. So in the end, we have B minus A prime is simply yung natira dito. It's 2. Finally, we can now get the union. We write the elements of C. We have 4 and 5. Pag sinabing union, ibig sabihin, combine. Combining and arranging, of course, in increasing order, 2 comes first. 4 comes next, and 5. So combining, pinagsama, we have this one. So I hope naintindihan natin how to use our four basic set operations. Just be careful, yun lang ang trick doon. Now, ready for some exercises? So you're now ready for some exercises. Given a new group of sets, ito yun, answer the following questions. You can pause this video now and try them. Kaya yan. Go! Here are the answers. I hope you got them. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy solving!